Welcome to the DriveHUD2 University video on how to run a range report. This video is going to go over step by step on how to set up, configure, and run a range report in DriveHUD2. So let's First get to all, it. You want to make sure you're in the appropriate tab. If you want to run a range report for cash games, you want to make sure you're in your dashboard tab. And if you want to run for tournaments, you want to make sure you're in your tournament tab. So once you're in the tab that you want to run a range report for, just locate the range report by scrolling all the way to the right hand side on your reports. You'll see the range report here. Click on this config icon. So you'll be in this first pop-up that will default to the betting action, which is kind of the main action that generally you want to define in your range report. The goal of your range report is that you're going to take a look at data from all of your opponent's history that you have currently in your database and it'll break it down and give you an idea of possibly when players are overfolding or underfolding or over bluffing on certain flop textures and with certain hand ranges. So the main thing generally you want to define is either pre-flop, flop, turn, or river action. You don't have to. There's uh, several different ways that you can just look at general data with a range report. Um, in this first tab here with standard filters, you can just set any kind of filter based on all these kind of quick filters here that are on your right hand side. You can run it just on specific stakes, certain opponents, uh, position of a hero and action facing hero. You can just run it on a certain range of hands. So if you want to see how your uh, population was performing on the bottom part of their range on certain t uh, flop textures or certain hand strength values, you could do that. Um, and then you also have advanced filters that you can set here to go through and refine what you're looking for in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to create an example report and walk you through real quick how to create one of these. I'm going to go through all these functions really quickly so you will have an idea of how to do this and I'll create a, a report of we're going to look at when people are check calling on the flop and then check folding on the turn and seeing what ranges of hands they're doing that with. So first of all you can select and look at specific types of players um, that you've categorized and that you've created in your player report or you can just look at all players. I'm going to select all players from now. I can also set whether I just want to look at in position or out of position. I'm going to look at both. And so we're going to do check on the flop and then call. So you'll see that gets created there. And then we're going to do check and then fold on the turn. So we have check fold, check call on the flop. And if you want to change the default bet sizes that the report comes up with, you can click this little gear icon on any of the streets. And you have to do this for each street. If you want to adjust this, um, you can keep these to the default sizes here. Um, or you can adjust these and set which one you want as the last analyzed or just check these off and then click apply. And then that will show in your report so and again you do that for each of the streets if you want to so this is set and I'm just gonna go ahead and click run and depending on your database size um, it could take a couple seconds or a few minutes so just keep that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and run and pause this so my range report has run and I'm gonna go over it here as you can see at the top left it'll just show you what was run here pre-flop any action on the flop check call on the turn check fold. In this top part here we have a range distribution by bet size so we can take a look at the total number of hands that we had to be able to run um, for these different categories. Um, it's broken down by hand strength here, top pair good kicker plus, top pair weak kicker, mid pair, low pair, over pair, air. And so I can take a look and get an idea of based on uh, my bet sizing, kind of maybe where my opponents are overfolding or underfolding for my population. Something to also note when you are uh, creating a range report, if you want to run it for a specific site, that's something that you can also set in the filters area. It's in the standard filter section. Um, this is just a general report 
for the data that I have here on all sites. But, um, you know, I can kind of get an idea offhand here that looks like my opponents are probably overfolding with middle pair. If I bet 40% or more um, with the equity they have and everything, that's um, they're folding uh, uh, way too often for the range. Um, this bottom section here, we can take a look by flop and turn texture, and again, get an idea of, based on the texture, what kinds of hands that they're folding. And here, again, it kind of it looks like um, single broadways with middle pair. They might be overfolding a bit. Um, definitely with some of the ace high boards as well. Um, they're folding quite a bit here. Top pair weak kicker on the flop even. And you can get an idea as we go down into the turn, if we look at all these, you know, um, monotone four of one suit, you know, they're pretty much, even though it's a small sample, so. But that's something to kind of look at, like a lot of people will overfold with a lot of um, pair, even top pair hands in these spots. Um, and it's good, at, you know, just to be able to sort through and, and see where are some potential uh, general population um, exploitable areas. Um, another cool thing is as you go through and explore this, if you click on some of these things, you want to get a more specific idea. Um, you can uh, drill down and click on here and actually go through and replay a lot of the hands so you can take a look and get more of a sense of kind of what um, your opponents are doing. So the same with any of these, you can just, even if you just want to look at all rainbow textures, you can just click here and look at all rainbow or all monotone. Um, and then again, you can go kind of drill down further, um, you know, make some notes on some of these hands as you review them. It's always a good way to um, utilize this range report. You're looking at kind of some macro data and some more micro fine data as well. Um, so, yeah, so that's... Uh, how to use it and um, I'll do some more videos going over some specific examples and really uh, drilling down and actually talking about the exploitability but this video is just kind of give you a general sense of what you can do with the range report how to set up some of these filters and run the report so um, I hope that's helped and good luck at the poker tables